Yeah, so this is a project number 10 in SAP ABAP development of an interactive report for accounts header and item data. So in this, like we'll be using the, we'll be using the three, uh, basically one event as of now, the at line selection event is what we're going to use in this particular uh, program, wherein we actually make a interactive report for uh, sales, uh, I mean like uh, accounts header and accounts item data. We basically have this data in, in BKPF and BSEG tables. So we have accounts interactive report. So in this report, we actually basically make use of these two tables. PKPF and BSEG. So from the BKPF table, we take the first four fields. Assuming, it, assuming that the requirement in the requirement we have those fields we have taken off st underscore bkp end of st underscore bkpf so we have this fields that we have there so in this, like the fields are UKRS, type UKRS. So we have these fields now and can check the field names here and Belner we have the data element as Belner underscore D. So these are the fields that we're taking from the KPF and we have we'll go for BS each table change the BSEG. And BSEG also will take a couple of fields. We'll take Elnan, TJHR, BUZDI, and BUZDID. Type GJHR, BUZDA type BUZDI. <coughs> so we're basically creating the structures for the two screens. We will be having two screens. 
wherein we have one screen for the head main basic screen and we'll have the interactive screen here so the interactive screen will get the data from the BU, uh, bbs eg table that's where the accounts item data it underscore bkpf and a table of st underscore bkpf and then we have it underscore bseg type standard table of st underscore bseg and we have w underscore bkpf type st underscore bkpf w underscore bseg type st underscore bseg so then we will write basically a select object S underscore Belna for BKPF hyphen BSEG. Now we'll be writing the selection. If we can introduce the all the events that we have discussed in the previous session, like initialization, at selection screen, startup selection, and all these things. But for our simplicity, I'm not using other events. I'm basically focusing on the at line selection where which makes us makes this program interactive so you caris belner bjhr lart from bkpf into table id underscore bkpf where belner Ness underscore Belner as a company code. <clears throat> then we'll be writing loop at it underscore bkpf into w underscore bkpf in loop. Now in this, we'll be writing the write statements w underscore bkpf hyphen Belner then we have w underscore bkp of hyphen bl djhr before Belner we have the bu caris bu caris then we have last field would be blart blart so these are the fields that we have here in addition to this here it's it's same as the basic report but to make it interactive to make it make it interactive we need to introduce a hide statement here now we will get a basic screen here so if i say some thousand to ten thousand We'll get a couple of records here. So these are the data that we have it from the first screen. So our intention would be that you know the requirement is that if we click on the first screen, you should go to the second screen. For that we need to use the hide statement hide w underscore bkpf hyphen which is the common field between the two tables and once we hide that field we used to we have to use at line selection in the at line selection we use case sy lsind so basically by default case sy, SY lsind value will be zero but when you click on the first screen it will become one so when we say when one when one select the fields from the second table actually those are Belner 
these are the fields that we have here so we'll take those fields from the second table these are the fields that we want to get it from the second table actually it's the PSEG table from BSEG into table IT underscore BSEG where Wellner in Wellner equal to the hidden value. The hidden value is this so you just need to copy this and uh, just paste it here. So this is the field on which you know we have actually hidden and that data from the second table will be extracted based on that particular value so then we had to write loop at it underscore bseg into w underscore bseg loop and then you have the right statement So the fields here would be like tab underscore bseg banner <coughs> then we have gjhr tab underscore bseg uzei w underscore bseg buzid so these are the fields that we have to have it from the second table and then we need to go for end case and let's say if we, I'm giving some value here we got the first screen when we click on the first screen we should be able to get the second screen with the, the detailed list in the second one so for example if we have something like 1009 for 1009 the detailed list will be here of course the heading is missing and a lot of things are missing but this is actually a program in which we are understanding the concept of how to make a program interactive so to the, the main functionality of the interactiveness would be achieved by hide statement so this height statement enables us to make the table in uh, you know interactive the first point is to hide hide the value which is a common field and then we have to use make use of the at line selection without using that line selection event we cannot make it interactive so then we have to go for case SYLSIND when one so SYLSIND value as I told you will be by default zero so when it becomes one you have to select the data and then you have to write the loop this is actually the pro program in which we are discussing the concept of interactiveness we can also make a program interactive with at user command event as well which we'll discuss in the latest later project but in this project it's a very simple project in which we are actually taking only just four fields but the functionality is the same according to the client requirement we can change the field names tables will be taken according to the client requirement but the concept would remain the same if at all if you are looking out for interactive report in classical reports whereas in in alv reports the interactive interactive reports will be having a different concepts which we'll discuss in the later later uh, sessions